case, in this video, I am going to discuss what intersect operator in Oracle database. So, and here I am using Toad for Oracle and currently working on HR schema. So, about the intersect operator, so it returns only matching values. So, whatever the values from EMP1 and EMP2, so this return only matching value. So, this is the matching part here. So, here. This is the matching part. So this uh, here, this is the part of EMP1 and this is the part of EMP2. So intersect operator return only matching value. So let's understand by example. So at here, I'm using the table or uh, tab one. So let's see the record inside tab one. So inside tab one has ID, name and event columns and this is the record. So add here 1002, 1002, it's a duplicate. And here 1001, it's a unique. Now let's see the record inside tab 2. So tab 2, here this is the record, 3 columns and 1002. So 1002 ID present in tab 1 and tab 2. So if you execute this query, so see at here 1002 present in tab 1 and tab 2. So in tab tab 1 it's a twice times and tab 1 tab, tab 2 it's a one times but if you are using intersect operator so it return only one matching records and here oh, in inner chance it's also returning matching record now let's understand the difference between oh, inner chain and intersect operator so if you execute to this query so first I'm going to getting this error message. The reason is error message is so ID here. So ID present in tab 1 and tab 2. So that here I'm getting the message column ambiguous. So to solve this problem, we have to do one thing. So if you give a star, so a star indicates all the columns from tab 1 and tab 2. So let's execute here. So see add here, it's a ID name email so it's come from tab one and here one three new column it's a created ID underscore one name underscore one email underscore one from tab two so by using inner chart so it's a returning on the matching records so thousand two it's a percent in uh, tab one table and two times so that it's a returning thousand two twice times. So, or you can write at here. So, write select a statement. And here, if you want to dis uh, display only three or uh, columns. If you don't want this column, so a tab one, so ID taken from the tab one, and here name taken from the tab two, and here email taken from the tab one. And here after, let's copy that one. Now, if you execute this query, so from keyword not found. Now, here after, let's see from tab one. Now, if you execute this query, so see at here, or oh, thousand two, it's returning. So it's only. So add here ID it's come from tab one table and here name it's come from tab two and here email it's come from tab one table. So either you can try it to this way. So this will return add here extra three columns. So it start means all the columns from tab one and tab two. So if you know like only three columns, so you can also achieve by using this query. So it's a combination of tab one and tab two columns. Now here after if you so the main difference between intersect and inner chain is intersect operator return only unique record. But if you are using inner chain, so it return duplicate records. To remove to, to remove duplicate records, we need to use at here distinct keyword. So if you write at here distinct a star, so a star means all the columns from tab one and tab two. So this is the inner chain and condition. So tab one. So this ID it's come from tab one and here. This ID comes from tab two. Now let's execute this query. So see here, it's returning here only unique record. 
So thousand two it's a twice time. So if I using distinct keyword, so it's returning thousand two one time. Now here after you can do the same thing. So if you like to uh, display only three columns, so in place of extra, just write this one. So tab one ID, tab two name, tab one event. Now let's execute this query again. So see at here, it's the only displaying three columns. Now here after if you execute this one. So see at here. So the, if you are using intersect operator, so if any data on match, so at here ID is the integer tab. So here ID is the integer tab. So at here ID is the integer tab, but name is the value So you cannot uh, intersect or different data types. So if you are going to execute this query, so that here I'm getting the either masses expression must have same data corresponding. So this is the things here data must be same. So and here let's give ID. So if you give ID at here, ID is the integer tab and here oh this point I'm going to give and here name. So ID ID is the integer name email so it's a varchar here yeah, email name it's a varchar so if you are going to apply this query so it will return some values it's it not returning any values because id match name here yeah, it's not match and here yeah, email not match but if you are using intersect operator so intersect operator only return matching records but add here yeah, this is the data type so if data type same so it won't give any error now here after let's give add here id name and here email so all the value this time it's a matching so that it will return matching record from tab one and tab three tab one so this is the matching record thousand two cop cop at the rate gmail.com so it's a matching record now here after let's use employees table so this is the record inside employees table so i'm going to Select only three columns from employees table. So see at here employees ID. So this is the integer tab here, varchar, varchar. So if you now combine uh, more than three or uh, tables, so you can also do that by sorry. So if you now display only matching record from the three tables, so you can also do that. So that you have to include at here intersect. So there are no any matching record with among this three tables so that it's returning at here no any values so suppose at here if you are going to execute this query so at here i'm going to include one extra column email so email it's there now if you execute to this query so at here i'm getting you the error matches the reason of error matches so from ID from tab one, I have taken three columns. Tab two, I have taken three columns. But at here, uh, in employees table, I have taken four columns. So that it's a returning the error. So if you are using intersect operator, so intersect operator, the number of columns must be same. Then that will give the expected output. So this is the important point about the intersect operator and inner join so inner join as a return the matching record but inner join return duplicate values but intersect operator return all the unique values so i hope that this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you